Shemot Exodus 11 And Yahuwah said unto Moshe, Yet will I bring one plague more upon Pharaoh and upon Mitzrayim. Afterwards he will let you go hence. When he shall let you go, he shall surely thrust you out hence altogether. Speak now in the ears of the people, and let every man borrow of his neighbor, and every woman of her neighbor, jewels of silver and jewels of gold. And Yahuwah gave the people at favor in the sight of the Mitzrayim. Moreover, the man Moshe was very great in the land of Mitzrayim, in the sight of Pharaoh's servants, and in the sight of the people. And Moshe said, Thus says Yahuwah, About midnight will I go out into the midst of Mitzrayim, and all the firstborn in the land of Mitzrayim shall die. From the firstborn of Pharaoh that sits upon his throne, even unto the firstborn of the maid servant that is behind the mill. And all of the firstborn of beasts. And there shall be a great cry throughout all the land of Mitzrayim, such as there was none like it, nor shall be like it any more. But against any of the children of Yasharel shall not a dog move his tongue, against man or beast, that ye may know how that Yahuwah puts a difference between the Mitzrim and Yasharel. And all these your servants shall come down unto me, and bow down themselves unto me, saying, Get you out, and all the people that follow you, and after that I will go out. And he went out from Pharaoh in a great anger, and Yahuwah said unto Moshe, Pharaoh shall not hearken unto you, that my wonders may be multiplied in the land of Mitzrayim. And Moshe and Aharon did at all these wonders before Pharaoh, and Yahuwah hardened at Pharaoh's heart, so that he would not let at the children of Yasharel go out of his land.